Hello and welcome to my latest project. This is a ICOM 756. The problem with it is the TX has gone bad. There was a uh, odor of uh, overheating uh, electronics or electrical burning and uh, it shut down and now there's problem with it. I'll show you a little bit later on uh, the exact uh, symptoms of it. But right now I've got the covers off and I'm just going through a uh, visual inspection looking for something that has burnt. I'm not having any success. So my initial thoughts were in this section here, this is the, uh, the power amp section, and uh, these are the final output transistors, and uh, there appears to be just uh, little sensors on there, and then underneath there, there's some uh, thermal paste. And the only thing that actually, from what I've seen here, that's the only thing that actually looks to be like there has been a little bit of uh, heat stress here. Is there anything I can come close to that looks like there's any kind of, uh, you know, it match up to uh, the burning smell of electronics or electrical? So this is the filter section. And then this is the antenna tuner section. Let me uh, flip it over. So this is the bottom side. So just giving it a visual inspection, lots of SMD on here. But nothing physically looks burnt out. Let's go back to the top side. Well, I'm going to hook up the power to this and just give you a little demonstration on um, what the uh, predicament is. The receive is fine. It's uh, the TX. Now when I uh, key the mic, I do get full power output, but there's a lot of uh, audio interference. Uh, hard to explain. I guess you'll have to see it to, to get a good judge on it. But let me uh, let me hook up the power to this and uh, show you what's going on. Okay, I moved my uh, radio over to the other bench where I've got power, so I have the microphone hooked up. And I have the power hooked up there. And if you take a look, I'm just running this into my MFJ dummy load. So that's my output. So let's put this on AM. Let me turn up the audio. And let me just key the mic here. So I'm getting full output. But there's this audio component. Let me switch over to a uh, sideband.
So the meter is showing power output. Fan is operational when I uh, key up. But I think that's the start of what this problem is, is a uh, overheating issue. I'm not smelling any burnt electronics anymore. But prior to the problem occurring, it was uh, noticeable. And it no longer is, so whatever was burning, it has burnt up and is no longer. So I'm going to need some help on this. This is, this is no CB radio, that's for sure. I would think that uh, if my uh, main power output transistors here were, uh, were burnt up, which you would think that's the, uh, the components that are getting the most current, if they were burnt up, I wouldn't be getting any of this uh, maximum power output, which I am getting. So there you have it. That is a problem that I am uh, going to have to resolve. One could easily box this up and uh, ship it off to ICOM Service Center and uh, maybe $500 later have it fixed. But I am intent on repairing this myself with the assistance of whoever wants to join me on board here. I do have equipment here, test equipment, signal generator, military grade frequency counter. So I have equipment, but not the expertise on this particular radio. So, ideas are welcome. I do have a service manual for this. So everything is in the book here. Schematics and all. But this is a very complex beast. And this is this is vintage already. This is um, you know 1997 ish, 2000 when it was built. It's not uh, the latest and greatest. It's a nice looking uh, unit. So I'm going to need some help.